good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Team, uh, I'm a piano music. Guys, you know, one of the things that I just don't understand is the fact that women have certain rules that they feel that men should live by, and it's not true. One of those rules that a lot of women feel that's important for men to stop whatever they're doing is that this woman is exceptionally beautiful. And just because she is exceptionally beautiful, she automatically is a mate that you should be trying to get with. Now I will say this, it definitely helps if you're an extremely beautiful woman or even a good looking man. It is really exceptional for a guy who is poor or a guy who doesn't have money but it means less for a man who does have money, for a man who is doing well. That's different, all right? And Megan Good, at 41, got married to Devon Franklin, I think almost 10 years ago, got married to him, like, I don't know, at age 31. So just think about that, right? At age 31, Megan Good had dated a lot of people. 50 Cent, Nick Cannon, I think Bow Wow, a whole bunch of guys who said, you know what? I'm not going to marry her. And at that time, she was 31 years old. So before 31, nobody was going to marry her of any significant value outside of Mr. Devon Franklin, who she probably didn't want in the first place. So that's just important. Like nobody was really checking for her on some serious, I want you my wife type of stuff, right? That's the first thing. What is the second thing? The second thing here, guys, is she got dumped. The guy filed for a divorce. That is why when you hear Megan Good crying all the time, you hear sad music. Oh my God, I, I didn't want the marriage to end. I just didn't want the marriage to end. You know, but it's God's will that I disrespected my husband almost every day probably. And he didn't want anything to do with me. And so the marriage ended. The guy wants absolutely nothing to do with her obviously her looking good or her being making good means absolutely nothing to this guy a guy she probably didn't want to be with at first seriously the guy doesn't want to stay with her he left her where she was at now here you have this video of her getting a lot of views on instagram her dancing when she's supposedly working i will start the show she definitely is fine i don't know about the lady in the back but she looks good okay having a good time supposedly working and then you have all these people saying something stupid like sad music i know he has to miss her and um things like that you know and this is um this is stuff that's slow because for every guy who wants to deal with the woman like megan good and doesn't understand the problems because she's beautiful because of who she is a guy who says he wants her back is a guy who's probably broke we're just going to be honest. When people talk like that, oh, I know your man wants you back. You're talking about a man who would have no other option that can't get somebody like her. We're talking about Devon Franklin, a guy who is a corporate executive for Sony. Now, he may not be um, a big time person like her in the movie industry, but he's big enough. He's a producer. He's an author. He's in the industry. He's doing very well. He went to you. SC, he's from a good family in Oakland. He doesn't need her, okay? He's one of the most influential Christians in the world. One of the top 10 producers to watch. Ebony Magazine has named him one of the top 100 influential African Americans in America. Tell me a guy like that who misses somebody like Megan Good. Go. Jeopardy music! The answer is zero. It doesn't work when you're a talented guy. All right? It works for broke guys. Guys who have guys who are thirsty. Guys who don't have anything to go. Look, if he would he would not leave her if he felt like he couldn't do any better. And this is why sometimes some ladies and things they, they say things for me that really just don't make any sense at all because it doesn't. It makes no sense. Who are you to feel? Okay? That this guy misses you why would you ever lie to yourself and say something so silly he can't miss the arguing the disrespect 
He can't miss the problematic nights talking to her. He can't miss the fact that she just doesn't get it. And let me tell you something, as a man, when you're really tired of a woman, there, 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 there are certain things you have tra tried before. First is the come to Jesus talk. Christian music. So you, you take the girl, and most of you ladies, uh, men know this rather, you take the young woman or woman you're dealing with and you, you have a problem, right? So you're saying, sad music. Baby, listen, um, we have the problem in a relationship and I really need you to fix X, Y, and Z thing about you. You've been really being disrespectful towards me. You're not behaving like a wife or like a good woman or like a mature woman or a mother. You know, these things that you should be doing at your age and you're just not fulfilling your duties. Now, I'm fulfilling my duties, but you're not doing yours. So I've talked to you about this, but you're not changing. So if you don't change, I'm going to leave your ass where I found you. Okay, that's what he told her. Now, the problem is, is that she as a woman didn't want to listen to that because you probably thought angry music. Jigga, I'm man good. Who you talking about, fool? You want to divine Franklin. You can't tell to me like that. You, Jigga, I get about here right now. What you talking about? Then so he so he leaves you. Now you're over here. Sad music. Oh my God. I wanted to stay married, but he didn't want to stay. No, he didn't want to stay married to you because you're a waste of time. No man is going to stick with a woman where nothing's going to change. Are you serious? Who has that sort of time? You're not going to change. You need to go. Take you and your good looks and your whatever you are and your clout, all that. And that's look, when you, you're a hell raiser. When I come home, I cannot stand you. I don't want to talk to you. When I look in the face, I want to go to the restroom. I don't care how beautiful you are. You make me sick. And so many guys go through that. We just want you to go. All right. Guys who can get somebody else. I don't care what you think you look like, good looking, ugly, whatever. If the guy is tired of you, he's tired of you, you need to go. You need to go and find somebody else's life that you can make miserable, which is what y'all probably, some of y'all probably do, all right? Terrorizing some guy who wants to be there, you don't respect the guy, and, and number one, you know, he's probably not man enough to make you respect him. He's tried to do it your way, doesn't work. So now, now he's tired of you because he's tired of your stuff. There are so many guys in America, around the world, who they don't care if you look good. Because listen, I would rather have a good looking lady or a below average looking lady or just a woman who looks okay. That's not gonna bother me. I don't care how fine you are if you don't listen, if you're acting evil, if you're dis, or if you're um, inconsiderate, if you're not being a woman, if you feel you're better than me, I don't care at all. And see, that's how, that's how silly some ladies think. You feel like because she's making good, he misses her because She's making good. Well, well, no, obviously she wasn't doing anything for him. And then also here's a part that you guys don't understand. He's seeing that she's having problems getting somebody of value after he left her. So it only confirms his initial decision. Most ladies, when you, uh, most ladies like that, when they have a guy that's pretty high value or whatever, right? What, who is the next guy they deal with? The guy's not there. Look at Amber Rose, for example. Kanye, then who? Wiz Khalifa, then who? 21 Savage, then who? Alexander Edwards, then who, then me, O'Shea Duke Jackson. The guy gets broker every year, okay? Nobody has time to put up with that. And I know you're mad, but it's not my fault. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Scrape it the bell, we're out. Yeah, yeah.